welcome back to underwater dreams and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to test your carbonate harness for your alkalinity or better known as a dkh uh, in your reef tank uh, using a, a salivar test kit okay so uh, the first thing you have to be uh, alert is that you're going to be aware of this uh, uh expiry date i don't buy expired item uh, make sure it's uh the latest and also uh, we're going to be checking inside the box and there is going to be a pamphlet or booklet on how to use this product and then uh, there's two, uh, two type of syringes one is to draw a tank water here with the 5 ml uh, mark and a smaller one thinner one to draw a, a reagent which is a 1 ml mark with this uh, nozzle uh, pink colored tubing in, in front here and then there is a cage indicator here okay the small bottle okay and there's a big bottle another one is just the cage reagent also and then the last one is that your uh, test wire this is where you're going to be mixing up your reef tank water aquarium water and then all the reagents goes up here to be mixed okay uh, so first step uh, i'm going to be drawing uh, uh, inside this syringe uh, 4 ml of uh, aquarium water or reef tank water okay so this is a uh, reef tank water here aquarium water here this is what we're going to be testing and while you're drawing inside here there's uh, make sure there's no bubbles and make sure the mark is at the the plunger is at the 4 ml mark okay Okay, that's it and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put this uh, 4 ml of water inside this test oil okay all of it okay and put aside this big syringe and now what we're going to do is that we're going to be taking this cage indicator here okay cage indicator and i'm going to give uh, some uh, small uh, shake like this a few times just to mix it up and according to this uh, pamphlet or booklet manual given here i'm going to be uh, putting up uh, four drops okay four drops okay so now we're going to be counting the drops okay and one two three four okay that's it and put aside so now what we're going to do is that i'm just going to give a small shake a swirl like this okay according to the pamphlet okay always read your manual and pamphlet here it shows exactly how to use and that's it it's gonna have a turquoise or a light green color here in the last part is that you're gonna using this uh, reagent the last reagent with this uh, syringe which is what i know syringe thinner ones what you're gonna do is that we're gonna draw uh, this reagent inside this syringe until the 1 ml mark and remember to draw this uh, liquid that's a trick okay let me uh, let me do this okay and always grip this uh, container very tightly okay draw that Okay, put aside the reagent okay now you see so there's a reagent inside here and make sure that you have actually uh, drawn in until 1 ml okay 1.0 ml okay and there are going to be a bubble a space here until uh, 8.5 mark okay until 8.5 mark there's 9 9.5 and 1.0 so uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to be reading uh, from this plunger end okay not here and not here this is the end the black plunger here so we're going to be drawing all this liquid onto this uh, test wire here until the color of this test wire turns to pink bright pink so let's go and uh, do this okay while doing this is what we call it a titration uh, method while doing it, uh, make sure you give it a little shake like this, okay, always mixing it up and you can put a little by little or 
uh, a bit faster if you know your level earlier okay okay it's almost to turn down now it's uh, almost there I mean uh, purple color okay uh, a few more drops it's gonna change okay that's about a light uh, pink okay it's about light pink now so maybe another one drop or two drop you're gonna change to uh, light pink okay okay let's see you see uh, there's about a uh, pink color right now okay and make sure you do this on a, on a bright light setup okay ambient uh, light setup uh, I don't want to do this in a, in a dark space or any shaded place so that you can see uh, visibly notice the color change okay now you see it's already changed to pink okay you want to get the uh, color of this to this uh, nozzles color okay pink color same color matching okay now we're going to be reading this uh, indicator and uh, how much we have used and what we have got in the level okay so now what you're going to do is that you're going to read the me uh, measurements from the end of plunger remember i told you this is the plunger reading okay there's about uh, 0 0.3 uh, 0 0.3234 okay 3234 okay so what you're gonna do is that we're gonna be referring back to this uh, chart here. There's a chart here, so it's gonna correspond to the reading here, and then uh, directly to your level of KH or DKH inside your reef tank. So uh, say there's a 3.2, we're just gonna find a 3.2, okay? That's about it. Here, okay. 3.2 3.4 so my levels is uh, cash or dkh level is about uh, 10.5 or 10.2 so i can put up a uh, 10.5 or 10.2 there so that's my level of a dkh inside my reef tank okay guys that's how you use a, a telephone test kit and basically what you do is that the balance here is just going to be putting it back onto this uh, container here so you can uh, use it for your next test okay and that's it guys that's how you test that's easy about uh, DKH testing with Salifert and that's how you get the results easy to read and that's it so uh, guys uh, there's an air bubble inside there remember that's uh, equivalent to the space between uh, this uh, pink color nozzle to your syringe okay that's basically normal that's okay okay you no need to get rid of the air bubble just now just leave it there just make sure your uh, end tip of this uh, uh, syringe uh, plunger is at the 1.0 ml and then the drawn liquid is on the 8.5 okay that's how you need to do it and then you will get the exactly uh, almost nearing uh, with less margin error okay I can say less 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 margin error reading okay that's how you do guys with the telephone the telephone uh, test kit and that's it guys for this week's video this week's episode this time's episode so until the next episode please uh, leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and uh, happy reefing guys